What's up guys, in this video I want to show you one of my favorite trading strategies and not only that, I actually want to go back in time and back test this strategy once again without seeing the future because as you know many YouTubers back test their strategies just going on their charts and placing you know their trades when they already see that it will be a profitable trade and that's not really a good back test, wouldn't you agree? Uh, what I want to do is go back in time with the replay function and place trades without seeing the future okay so that's what i'm going to do in this video but before that let me explain the strategy briefly if you watch my previous videos you will already be familiar with this strategy but let me explain it once again for this strategy you're going to need three indicators first one is 50 ema right here and we want to set the length for the ema at 50 nothing out of the ordinary just yet next you're going to need this indicator right here by lax algo this is a free indicator by them but it works extremely well and what you want to do in this indicator set the length to 26 slope to 1.6 slow calculation to atr click ok bada bing bada boom we're almost ready and the last indicator is stochastic rsi you can see right here uh, leave the values default for this indicator and we're going to use this indicator to verify our trading entries now let's go over the rules so here's a really good example for a long opportunity as you can see the price action broke through this trend line which was drawn by the indicator and after it did it printed out the buy signal but that is not enough for us to enter a trade there's some more additional rules first one being that the price action must trade above the 50 ema line right here meaning that it's an uptrend okay so we only go long if the price action is above this green line which is the 50 ema line and then there's some more additional rules first one being that we only enter long position if the price action has recently broke through the 50 ema line or if we count back three candlesticks from the buy indicator or the point where the price action broke through the trend line let's do that one two three and if we go down on this candlestick the stochastic rsi must be in the oversold territory which it is not for this example we want the stock rsi to be like this three candlesticks from the buy signal okay but since the first rule which was that price action must break through the 50 ema line was met we can still enter a long position and as you can see here if we were to enter long here this would have been a successful trade same situation if we want to go short the price action must be below the 50 ema line like it is right now and the same rules apply you either want the price action to break through the 50 ema line or you want the stochastic rsi to be in the overbought zone so let's count back one two three well it's pretty close to overbought zone close to the 80 point line right here so i would enter this short right here and this as well would have been a successful trade so now let's go back in time to random time and space in ethereum's history and let's try out this strategy without seeing the future and yes guys this strategy will work for forex crypto stocks whatever you want to trade just make sure you back test this strategy with the asset that you want to trade first to see if it behaves any differently from what you expect and to be safe with your money so now let's go back in time okay so we have landed at random time and space for ethereum's history now we're going to see if this strategy actually works if you're not seeing the future i know for a fact that it works but i just want to show you guys that it works as well and is extremely powerful and by the way i'm using the one minute chart but that doesn't really matter you can use five minute chart 15 minute chart or you know any time frame that you prefer as long as you follow the same rules okay so now let's print the chart and wait for a good buying opportunity okay guys as you can see we have two indicators on the chart one for buying one for selling so in this case uh obviously we don't want to short because the price is trending above the 50 ema line so in this case we only look for buying opportunities so let's ignore this red signal right here and focus on this green one instead so what we want to do here now is count back one two three and at this point uh ethereum was extremely overbought it's high up here in the stochastic rsi chart so what i would do here i will actually ignore this signal because it doesn't actually meet any criteria and yes you might say that it does cross the 50 ema line just before but as you can see it's snaking around this line 
for the recent history so we don't really want to take this into account either so let's ignore this okay so we have another buy signal right here but this time it's below the 50 EMA line but it does look like that it might break through so let's wait and see if that happened okay it broke through the 50 EMA line and we have buy signal right over here and counting back from this point one two three we can see that in stochastic RSI the chart is in the oversold territory so at this point I would enter a long trade setting a stop loss at previous just below the previous swing low at 0.42% take profit let's set it to a conservative 1.5 risk reward ratio let's see how this plays out did this hit take profit i think barely we have our first successful trade right here yeah we are pretty close to the take profit zone so oh yeah that's right it right here we would have hit our take profit for sure with this candle right here so that's the first successful trade of the day so let's wait for some more signal okay as you can see we have a buy signal right now printed on the chart and it has broke through the 50 ma line with some momentum entering short right here let's set our stop loss to swing high that was close to the ema line take profit one to five let's see how this plays out okay that's another successful trade right there and wildly successful at that look at that we could have actually ridden this trade so much longer and have gotten much more profit but that's how it is two wins zero losses so far with the strategy and i want to remind you guys that i don't actually know where and how this chart is going to play out i'm going in this test blind to see how the strategy actually plays out without seeing the future and guys if you enjoyed these kinds of videos please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton currently we have two wins zero losses so let's play the chart out and see if we get another signal okay as, as you can see we have a buy signal printed on the chart right here the price action broke through this green trend line which was drawn by the indicator as well we have crossed the 50 EMA line not with as much momentum as I would like it to see but still that's an EMA crossing so let's count back one two three for additional confirmation and as you can see stochastic arrows is right in the middle of the chart and seeing where it comes from it came from the overbought zone right here right to the middle of the chart so in this case I think this is an opportunity for a long trade so let's open along right over here stop loss below the 50 EMA line at the at this swing low right here and take profit one to five risk reward ratio let's play this out and we were stopped out of this trade that's the first loss of the day two wins one loss so far so we have some additional indicators printed on the chart let's see if any of them are valid we have a buy signal right here because it crossed below this trend line but it looks like it reversed and then it bounced off of the 50 EMA line. So in this case, what I would do is actually wait it out and see if we can get some better signals. Okay, we have another buy signal on the chart and as you can see, uh, it broke through the 50 EMA line with two momentum candles right here and I really like to see this as well as it broke through this trend line drawn by the indicator which is not as powerful indicator but still that's indicator nevertheless so let's count back one two three and as you can see stochastic RSI at this point was coming down to the oversold zone so at this point I would actually enter a long trade let's see how this plays out entering along here stop loss below the 50 EMA line take profit at 1 to 5 risk to reward ratio let's play it out okay guys so I accidentally exited the replay mode so we'll need to go back in time again and start over with a fresh trade okay as you can see we are having a short signal right here on the chart and it just crossed the 50 EMA line to the downside and as well as if we count back 1 to 3 at this point stochastic higher side chart was right in the middle coming down from the overbought zone so we can enter a short trade right here according to strategy setting stop loss the previous swing high above the 50 EMA line 
take profit at 1 to 5. Let's play it out. Wildly successful trade with just a few candlesticks. Let's move on. We have another sell signal printed on the chart and I want to remind you guys that currently we are at 3 wins and 1 loss for the strategy. So, so let's see if we should enter a short position right here. Currently we are below the 50 EMA line and as you can see the price action is bouncing off of this 50 EMA line uh, telling me that it doesn't want to break through. And if you look at stochastic RSI, 1, 2, 3, it was near the over... Uh, it was near the oversold zone, but in this case, since you have bounces off of the EMA, I would actually respect this signal and go ahead and enter a short position. Stop loss above the 50 EMA line and take profit at 1 to 5. Let's play it out. That's another losing trade. Currently, 3 losses, 2 wins. So let's wait for another signal. Okay, as you can see, we have a buy signal here printed on the chart and it broke through the trend line with quite a momentum as well as it's above the 50 EMA line with a recent crossing. So I would enter this trade with a long position. So let's go ahead and do that here. Stop loss below the 50 EMA line, take profit at 1 to 5. Let's see how this plays out real time. Okay, that's another losing trade for us. Currently, we are at 3 wins and 3 losses. Let's wait for another indicator to be printed. So as you can see, we have two indicators printed on the chart, one for buying. I would ignore this red in indicator because as you can see, it was a fake out. And this buy signal broke through the 50 MA line with some momentum once again. And if we go back and check the stock RSI, you will see that it was oversold at this point right here three candlesticks ago. So I entered this trade with a long, setting stop loss to previous swing low, and take profit. Let's aim for risk reward ratio of one to one, since the volume for today is not as high and we're not seeing these huge runs. Let's play it out and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, we are taking another loss. I guess it's one of those days. Currently, three wins, four losses, but with our risk to reward ratio, we should be profitable if not break even, so we are not losing money at this point. So let's wait, let's wait for some more indicators. As you can see, we have a sell indicator, but I decided to ignore it since it's way too choppy for my liking. So let's wait for some more indicators. Okay, as you can see, we have a buy indicator once again. And it just broke through the 50 MA line with the momentum candle and retested it once again. So I think this might be finally a winning trade for us. So let's go along right over here. Take profit at one to one. Let's go. Okay, so this is a winning trade. As you can see, this week did uh, break or take profit line. So currently we have 4 wins, 3 losses. Okay guys, as you can see, we have another buy signal right here. It broke through the 50 EMA line just recently. And although it was dancing around it for quite some time, it does look like it's rejecting this EMA line. And if we count back the stochastic RSI, we can see that it is in the overbought territory, which is not ideal, but let's go ahead and enter this long position. And this will be the last trade of the day, so let's make it a good one. Risk to reward ratio at 1 to 5. Okay, this was a winning trade. Uh, so today we backtested 8 trades, 5 of which was winning, 3 of which was losing. So win rate of about 65%, which is not bad at all. But guys, I want to remind you that it doesn't matter if one day you have 65% win rate, because the next day your win rate could be 80% or 30%. 
charts are not that predictable but it is important that you stick to your strategy and don't break your own and guys that about wraps up the video subscribe for more videos like this bye